A lot of people have been asking me about masks, if I'll ever put them on the site. Myself, like millions of other people across the world, have been financially affected by the global pandemic. So I figured, what better way to use a rainy, gloomy, northwestern day than to go through the scrap bin to see what kind of masks we can come up with. I'll put them on the site, people have access to original masks, and you can rest assured that your purchase is making sure that Winston gets his next meal. Here we go. Now I know love is a hurting thing Cause without the one you love Pain is what it brings Your work, it is so sad And it's long Welcome to the gloomy dungeon. So for the nose bridge on the masks, you need a piece of wire and I had a clever idea. I'm gonna use some of the old wiring I used to run electrical to the art house. It's perfect, it's insulated, it's pretty flexible. When I cut this, I'll get three pieces out of it. Truly, everything in this mask, except for the elastic, is completely recycled, which is kind of cool. So much character. So this is gonna be the right side of the mask. No, we keep it real. We show the mess, the underside, the vulnerability, the unmentionable. I feel like I should clean up a little bit, but also I don't really care, so... So it looks like we've got a run of 12 going on for us today. Yeah, we got some poly, we got some cotton, and we've got a couple experimental jersey pieces. I think only two. Fingers crossed, but no promises. Words to live by. Just got to be in love. Wait, what was I doing? Production in a way here at Everything's Been Done Enterprises to make sure you get the coolest of cool, the safest of safe, the most radical masks this man can allow. I might have just gotten too stoned. To be hurt like me. That's the magic moment right there. Hammo! Fuck, I want this one. We've hit a glitch of astronomical proportions. Well, it's, it's, it's a roadblock, really, you know. My 12 gauge electrical solid copper wire. I mean, you can't, ow. Ah, oh, it's too hard to bend over your nose. Why didn't you warn me? I mean, I could have, but I think the solution is uh, some ties from a garbage bags. Roadblock, solution. Roadblock, solution. So I get to seam rip this, yay. Wait, hold on. Miracle moment. These zip ties, fuckus, are the exact right length that I need. That's unheard of. Oh my god. And in the mornings when I awake, I don't see a smiling face and the coffee that you made. All right, four hours deep. All I see it's late. I'm burnt out. We're going to call it a day. But I got a handful of these guys done, which is not bad. Two, three, four. Four and a half. All right. It's like one an hour. That's horrible. Filled with memories. Filled with blues. You just got to be in love. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. To be hurt like me. Oh. Hopefully I can get faster at doing this. You just got to be in love to feel what I feel. Session complete. We have five pulsars, three camos, one cotton commotion. DIY University. One out of a jersey. I don't know what happened to the other pieces of jersey material. They're just gone. I've looked in the trash. I just... The next step is to sterilize these bad mamma jammas so that they're clean, healthy, and sanitized just for you. And then we got to take pictures. Almost there. And then we got to upload them on the website. 
Uh, and then I realized that I have to shoot these first because after I wash them, I don't want to manhandle them while I'm taking pictures. So photos, then wash, then package, then deliver. Uncensored, unfiltered take on how I take my crappy DIY photos in the driveway. Pro tip though, pieces of white paper are great for taking pictures on. They're smooth, they're clean, and they're disposable because surfaces get dirty. And, you know, you could draw a picture on it before you threw it away. Or write a message, start a fire, start a compost pile, dry up a mess of water. Yo, these camos look sick. Did you know that this is a camo pattern that I shot and made into a repeat in Forest Park? Which is right over there. I like camo, man. Fuck. You gotta merchandise the product. You gotta make it look sexy. This is from DIY University, which was an event that we did with Blue Lug several years back in Japan. How the hell do you make a flat mask look sexy? This is the outside, but this one's made entirely out of cycling jerseys. It's panache, man. You've either got it or you don't. So many pulsar. Timeless classic. And of course, we know this one from the tutorial, which is how I figured out how to make these. The final step is to upload these onto the website. And then that's it. I hope that was interesting. Uh, Sorry for the no bike. No bikes, no likes, no bikes, no likes, no. But we did make things out of things that are used on the bike, so. And before I forget, we have an International Players Club Steel is Real shout out going out to the one and only Saul Collins. What up, Saul? Thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate you. If you or anyone you know is interested in one of these masks, they're available right here. Oh, and also, if you want to make your own mask, we made a whole video about it. It's right here. Till next time, dear friends. I will see you on the no other side. Cause without the one you love, pain is what it brings.